hey guys it's a brand new year it's a brand new me actually i feel like i'm lying to you because i'm filming this on like december 29th so it's not quite yet the new year but close enough i am ready i'm ready to get down get started i have so many ideas planned for january but this video is a makeup inventory video i hope you guys are just as excited as i am I absolutely love watching makeup inventory videos. I love being nosy. I just love seeing what everyone else has just because there is so much makeup out there and it's always just interesting to me like what different products people have and what different products people love. So I'm really excited. I do first want to say before we get into it that I had all the best intentions of like keeping track throughout the year of 2021 like items that came into my collection, items that I decluttered, items that I uh, you know used up completely that way I could sit here now and like do comparisons between uh, This year and last year's inventory and tell you exactly like why those numbers changed But like I said life got the best of me. I was not able to do that Hopefully I can keep better track of it in this year in 2022 That is my goal But I am just going to go through with you and we will talk about everything that I currently have in my collection I'm gonna pop up a picture I don't know which side I'll figure out when I scooch over but I will pop up pictures I just find that the inventory goes a little bit more quickly if I can do that so I think that's it let's just get right on into this inventory all right so I scooted over that way you could see on the screen the picture that I am looking at on my phone so if you see me looking down that's what it is I'm just I want to look at the same picture that you're looking at so we're just gonna go through uh, the inventory category by category and I'll give you like some thoughts on some different things I don't really have set goals this year I am working on like some rules that I want for like a low buy year in 2022 so that'll be coming like a video on that later in the month um, so for right now I really don't have any hard and fast goals I have some products that I'm looking at where I'm like, no, I definitely want to finish, you know, this particular item off before I'm allowing myself to purchase like another item in that category, things like that. But um, yeah, I don't really have goals is what I'm long windedly trying to tell you. So let's start off with primers. I have five primers that you are seeing. Two of them are pore filling primers, both from Benefit. One is the hydrating version, and I really don't notice all that much of a difference between the hydrating and just the regular pore filling primer from them. And then the other three are just like typical, like everyday kind of primers. Um, I just use the pore filling primers around like my nose and my T zone. And I really think that, especially in the summertime, those help combat like some of the oiliness that I experience. So I'm not mad at five, but I would like to see these get moved out. Also, I think like the Benefit Pore Professional used to be like my favorite pore filling primer. And now I'm just not so sure. Like I don't think that it is doing that good of a job. And neither one of those are like terribly old. Um... So I don't know, I'm just like disenfranchised with it. So let me know down below what your favorite pore filling primer is. All right, so I'm a little bit embarrassed to tell you that I have 10 foundations. I don't think I have ever had 10 foundations like in my life at one time. Um, now one of those, I guess I'm cheating a little bit, that one on the top, it's like in the blue squeezy tube bottle, that is the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Tinted Moisturizer. I used to split this category up and give you a number for like tinted moisturizers slash BB creams and then foundations. And when I was sitting down to do, the in to do this inventory this year, I was like, Haley, just quit lying to yourself. Like you use them in the same way. So essentially they are all foundations. Like you don't, you know what I mean? Like the, the tinted moisturizer still goes on your face. And if you put that on, then you don't wear a foundation or vice versa. You put the foundation on, you don't wear the tinted moisturizer. So they're used in the same way. So to me, they should just go in the same category and I should just stop lying to myself and making myself feel better. Like, oh, see, I don't have that many foundations because I have five foundations and only two BB creams or whatever. All right. So we have concealers. I feel like Every time we do an inventory, I have five concealers. I still have five concealers. Now they're not all the same five concealers that I had last year. I have finished off concealer, but for whatever reason, I always get on here and I'm like, I want less than five concealers, but I end up with five concealers. So I'm gonna stop saying anything about a goal number and quit jinxing myself. Um, I do have a Tarte concealer, a Rare Beauty concealer, which is probably my favorite, 
And then I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, which would probably be like my favorite drugstore concealer. And then I was sent via Influencer the two like Revlon Color Stay. One of them, it's in the shade 002. I use that more as like a color corrector because it's very, very peachy. And then I have not yet opened the other concealer, but it looks like comparing it in the photo to the other concealers, they sent me the shade um, 005 and it looks a little bit darker than like what I like for a concealer. I really like my concealer to be like a shade or two shades lighter than my foundation. So yeah, like I said, right now my favorite is probably that Rare Beauty one. You know we're not that far into this video and I feel like I'm already losing my voice. So pressed powders are next. I have three. Three pressed powders. That's it. I'm really proud of that. I In 2021, I did manage to finish off a few pressed powders. If you are familiar with my inventory from last year, you might be thinking to yourself like, hmm, Haley, where is that hourglass palette that, you know, you have the ambient lighting three? Well, I finished off all of my face powders and my bronzer from that palette. So now it only has blushes. It only exists in my blush collection. Like that's amazing to me. So yeah, three powders. All right, so the next thing we will talk about is loose powders. I know a lot of people combine these and maybe I should too, but I don't know. It just, in my brain, they're separate. So I also have three loose powders. I am not mad about that. I just have the Too Faced. And then those two from Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals are um, two of their concealing powders. And one is in the shade Well Rested and one is in the shade Bisque. The shade Bisque is super like pink toned like I feel like when I put it on even if I go in with like the lightest of hands you can tell that I have like this like weird pink cast under my eyes so I'm not sure how I'm gonna like be able to use that one up maybe as an all over face powder I don't know but for right now you all you need to know is that I have three loose powders all right cream bronzers I only have one I only have one cream bronzer and it is the milk makeup cream bronzing stick I have mine in the shade bronzed I believe this only comes in two shades which is unfortunate like that's 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 a little horrendous let's be honest but I absolutely love this as a cream bronzer I think it is beautiful it blends out beautifully and for the price tag you get so much product it is a huge stick actually you know, I leave it sitting out on my makeup desk all the time. It's huge, is it not, for like cream bronzer? I just think that's a lot. Uh, there is, just in case you're wondering, 28 grams of product in this. Like, that's good value for your dollar, I feel like. And I've been using that consistently for a long time, and I don't think it's going to be out the door anytime soon. Eight. I have eight powder bronzers. So you, you might be looking um, at the picture and thinking like, I don't see eight. I count the Juvia's Place bronzer is a duo and then the cover effects, it has a matte bronzer and a shimmer bronzer. So I count each pan individually instead of just counting it as one. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I actually managed to finish off quite a few bronzers in 2021, so I'm pretty happy about that. My goal for this year is ultimately to get that, um, it's a highlighter from the Balm, it's called the Bonnie Luminizer. It's just far too dark for me as a highlighter, but it does work well as a glowy bronzer. I really want that gone by the end of this year because I only typically wear it in the warmer months. I don't really feel like a glowy bronzer in the, in the cooler months. But I have had that. I think that's honestly my oldest bronzer. And it's a highlighter. But it's my oldest bronzer. And so I really want that worked out of my collection by the end of this year. All right. So next we will do cream blushes, which I have 11 of. Also, just meant to say at the beginning, if I say a number like 11, but what you see on the screen underneath the picture is different, go by what's on the screen because that is the correct number not necessarily what i say but i do have 11 cream blushes one of them comes from the natasha denona glam face palette i got the dark version i absolutely love the cream blush in that it is so beautiful i think it's my favorite um but i do have 11 which is quite a lot of cream blushes especially since you only got one set of cheeks is like i don't know about you but i'm not wearing a shade over here and a shade over here so I really want to not purchase any more cream blushes until I for sure get out of my collection those two blush sticks from ColourPop. At the end of the day, there's nothing like inherently wrong with them. They do wear nicely and they're both really nice shades. I have, um, I know one of them I think is discontinued. It was the shade Hen Party that's in the like pinky purple packaging. And then I'm pretty sure the other one is Cool It. 
Either way, they're both really pretty, but I just do not like the stick format for like cream blushes and cream highlighters. I would much rather just have them like in a pot or be like how the Rare Beauty ones are where you take them out and it's a Dofa applicator. So there's that. All right, so powder blushes. I have 18 powder blushes. I started to like try to really make sure that I opened up all the compacts so that you could see all the colors. But my lighting is a little bit off because I took these pictures like late at night. Uh, so I just had like the, the light light, not like natural light. So it's not a very good representation of the color. Also, my plan is to in February, since there's only four Fridays in February, I'm going to break it down and we're just going to have a swatch party every Friday in February. So like we'll do all the highlighters, we'll do all the blushes, we'll do all the, the whatevers. Um, so if you're into seeing like a more in-depth look of the collection and what I have then stay tuned for February that will be coming up but all you need to know for right now is that I do have 18 blushes and you can see in that picture like I was talking about the hourglass palette only has the two blushes left in it I am so proud of myself that I am like toying with the idea of trying to finish off both of those blushes this year so that I can just call that palette done give myself the monetary value for it in my empties but I need that like push like I'm nervous I'm nervous to do that but yeah 18 blushes is a little bit on the ridiculous side in my opinion that's just a lot and especially because I'm a little bit embarrassed to do the swatch video because I'm sure a lot of these are very similar like in color and undertone but I just I look at them and I think to myself like okay Haley you can get rid of a few of these it's okay but for whatever reason I just really enjoy all of them so I'm just going to keep all of them and love them Okay, cream highlighters. So I do have 10. Again, you're seeing the um, Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette, the dark version. That I feel like throws off the picture just a little bit because it does have eyeshadows in there. So obviously we're not looking at those. We're just looking at the highlighter and that is a really pretty highlighter even though it's the dark face palette. If I go in with a light hand, I can make it work. It does leave a little bit of a cast on my skin, but I still think it's really pretty. It's not like super, super noticeable. So much like with cream blushes, I really feel like my cream highlighter collection has gotten out of control. I really just need to learn to use what I have because I don't, I really enjoy cream highlighters, but I layer powder highlighters on top of them. So I really don't need this many. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, powder highlighters. I'm actually quite okay with how my powder highlighter collection is looking. I have 14 of them as it stands right now, and I really don't want to increase that number by any means unless I were to like finish off one. I'm really happy. I feel like I have a good mix of like some icy shades, some pink shades. I have some colorful shades. Um, I'm really excited. Laura sweetly sent me the ABH Sugar Glow kit which you're seeing in there and every single one of those shades is so beautiful. I think my favorite shade from that is the um what's that shade called? Starburst. Starburst is my favorite shade from that ABH uh, Sugar Glow kit. All right let's do setting sprays next. I have six. Now some of those are technically what I call like facial sprays. Like sometimes I will put on my primers and my skin just feels like a little you know tight so like I have the pixie hydrating milky mist or whatever that's called and then the covergirl like clean fresh prep and set those I wouldn't use to like set my face but I use them more to prep my face so I don't know if you really want to count them in with setting sprays but again it just makes sense in my head like with the BB creams and the foundation kind of thing but I'm not mad at this category I'm fine with it ultimately what I would love to have is like one of those sprays that are you know like the prep spray and then a more mattifying spray and a more hydrating one that's all i need because i really don't tend to rotate through setting sprays like i tend to just pull one out and use it up so it doesn't make sense to me to have sex all right so brow products i have two i have they're the same thing so one is the like backup it's unopened in the box i received it for christmas which was very nice of my family but I have just two of the ABH Brow Pomades. Both of them are in the shade Taupe. I did open up the container of the one that I'm currently using so that you could see how much use I have on it. These last me a pretty good amount of time. I would say at least a year now. If you've seen me without my brows, you know that I don't have a lot of natural eyebrow hair to work with. So I probably use more than the average person to like make my eyebrows look nice. 
Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I have used up one full one of these pre like as we sit here and then I'm working on that second one. So this is just my go-to brow product. All right, so let's do some lip categories. So these are my lip liners. I only have six lip liners. Now I am a little upset because one of those is like a backup. Like I thought, so I have two of the ColourPop uh, lip liners, both in the shade BFF. I thought that my BFF had like dried out, like went off. Um, so I bought like another one at Ulta. And then when I came home, I decided to give it one last like go, like sharpened it. And I don't know if sharpening it, like just it fixed it, like, but it was so creamy, like it didn't smell off anymore. So I'm going to finish that one off. So that's why I'm a little like upset with myself because I have two of the exact same shade. But that's okay because that BFF is like my favorite lip liner. Like if I don't know what lip liner to pair with a lipstick, I just use the shade BFF and it always looks gorgeous. So I'm not mad at my collection. I feel like every single lip liner that I have is like a different enough shade to warrant having it in my collection as well as the other five. All right, so these are what I deem to be my liquid lipsticks. I only have three. Two from Rare Beauty, which are mini sized items, and then one from Uden's Eye, which is their matte lip cream. So that one is a little bit like super drying once you put it on. It is a beautiful shade. But if you top it with a gloss, then it feels a lot better. I am interested in trying their matte lip creams that are supposed to be, you know, not uh, so drying. But I have so many lip products that no, we're just not even going to entertain that idea. All right, so bullet lipsticks are what you're seeing on the screen now. I have 10 of those. I my I feel like this kind of exploded and got a little bit out of hand on me. I don't remember how many I had at the start of last year, but I don't think it was 10. I think it was like six. So I do have a lot of the ones from Juvia's Place. I absolutely love those. They are so comfortable. The shade range is so nice. I feel like you can just you could find your perfect shade within their line and they have like the nudes, the berries, the the wines, the you know, the whatevers and it's it's just a really nice collection and they smell like vanilla cupcakes which is an added bonus. Okay, lip glosses. I'm like slightly embarrassed. I have 16 I believe which is a lot and especially because a lot of them are brown. I just love brown lip gloss. So I am not buying any more lip gloss in the year of 2022 until I get this category down significantly because my fear is that some of these are going to go off. I feel like in 2020, I finished off four or five lip glosses. I can't quite remember, but I felt really good about that number. And then this year in 2022, if I'm, or in 2021, we're not in 2022 yet. In 2021, I think I only finished off like two lip glosses. All right, so the next category is lip balm and I have nine of them and I'm I'm not embarrassed by that. I leave lip balm all over this house. I probably have like four open at a time. So I constantly use them. I do not like for my lips to feel dry in any way. I will put a balm on and then put a gloss on. I will put a balm on underneath my lipsticks when I'm getting ready. Like just not worried about it. Not worried about using them up. I am really close to finishing off that Laneige one, the vanilla one. And then once that one's gone, I think I'm going to focus on the smaller ones and then save my peppermint one because I love peppermint so much, even in like the summertime. But yeah, not mad about this collection, not worried about it. I know nine lip balms might seem a little overwhelming to some people, but not to me. All right, so eyeliners are next. I think last year I only had like two eyeliners, maybe three, like a black, a brown, and a peachy nude. And now we have seven. So Haley has discovered that she actually likes colored eyeliners. I don't want to talk about it because I was wrong and you were right. Um, but yeah, I really do enjoy using the colored eyeliners. I will say though that the brown one and the darker purple liner that you're seeing in the picture, they are both from LA Girl. They are their Shockwave. Like I said, I have it right here. Here's the brown one. It's the Shockwave metallic eyeliners these are not good these do not stay in my waterline i don't really like these they look good for about the first 10 minutes that you have your eye makeup on and then after that i just don't see them they're a little bit hard to apply to like i feel like i have to really go back and forth to build them up to the color intensity that i want the brown and the purple 
All right, lash primer. I usually only have one of these and that's where I really want this category to be. But for some reason I have two. Actually, again, I know the reason. That little guy from Lancome, I think I got that as like a like a, in a sample bag or something this year. So that's why I have that one. But my ultimate favorite go-to lash primer is the Milani, the violet one. I will never stop raving about that one. It really just, it takes my little short stubby lashes and it just, it helps them. It helps them a lot and I cannot be more thankful for that mascara primer, lash primer. All right, so lash primers, perfect segue into mascaras. I have four and I have a confession to make. Usually I'm really good about only having one mascara open at a time, but for whatever reason I have four, or no, I have three, three open at a time. I have the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara, which is not that good, don't don't buy into the hype of that. Um, then I have the Joa The Lash Up Mascara opened, and the Kush Milk Makeup Mascara, which Laura also sweetly sent that to me, and that is my favorite like mascara, hands down, the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, but it's expensive. And so I'm trying to find like my perfect drugstore mascara. The Joa one is okay. Um, I don't know. Some days I wear it and I'm like, oh, I really like this. And then other days I wear it and I'm like, no, nah, I don't like this. So let me know what your favorite drugstore mascara is. I have tried every single Essence mascara that there is out there. And I'm just going to let you in on a little secret. Please don't hate me but I think the Essence mascaras are overrated. All right, so eye primers, I have six, which might seem a little bit ridiculous, but hear me out. Um, only two of those are like my skin tone shade primers. You know what I mean? Like the Juvia's Place one, and then Laura's, Laura also sweetly gifted me three of the P. Louise ones. So the Rumor 2 shade is also like a, like just skin tone shade for me. Um, so I only have two like that. The rest of these I feel like serve a purpose because one is a NYX glitter glue, which I love to put on to really help my shimmers pop. And then the other ones that you're seeing in the picture are all colored bases. So like I have a pink one from P. Louise and then a white one from P. Louise. Again, both sent sweetly from Laura. And then I have a yellow like colored eye primer from Sugar Drizzle. So I really, I'm not mad at how many eye primers I have because again, the like more colored ones, the yellow, the white, and the pink, those really, I put those on in order to help me change like the shadow or I put them on before I put a topper shadow on them. So I'm perfectly fine with my six eye primers. All right, cream eyeshadows. I have nine, mostly from ColourPop. And yeah, I'm fine with it. I do want to make a better effort this year of like pulling out and using my cream eyeshadows. Uh, I'm toying with the idea of maybe finishing one of them off. I have one that is so close. I think it's my oldest one. It's the shade Set to Stun. I don't even know if they still make it, but it's a pink with like bluish glitter in it and it's really pretty, but that one probably has like the most use on it. So that would be the only one that I would consider like finishing off. But yeah, I just, I like to use these. They're not like everyday staples in my collection, but they're fun. Like, you know what I mean? Like you want to like get some vroom, vroom, vroom in your eyeshadow look, then, you know, use a cream eyeshadow. They're a lot of fun. All right. So singles, are you guys ready? Cause I think last year when we did this, I had like 70 something singles. You're going to flip when you see this picture. 10, 10 singles. Now what happened Haley? You might ask. Well, I have the cream eyeshadow from Maybelline that just lives like in my vanity all the time just in case I need it, right? And then I used to have that big adept magnetic palette. So during my hiatus, I was doing a build your own palette because again, Laura sweetly sent me three, no four, four JD Glow eyeshadows. They come in like those huge pans and she was like look I'm never gonna use all of this let me repress some of it and like send it to you so she sw sweetly sent me four of them and they they really are amazing like yeah do love them so anyway long story short I had those in this Tarte magnetic palette and I was like you know what I want to pull out like my favorite singles that I have and just let those live on my vanity that way I make sure I'm getting good use out of them so that's what I did. I pulled out all of my favorites along with those new JD Glow eyeshadows. And then I left the Adept palette sitting on the desk right here. And my cats jumped up on this desk and knocked that palette off. And it shattered everything 
in there shattered. There was eyeshadow all over the floor. I was so I was so upset that all I could do was laugh. Do you ever get that like upset? You know what I mean? So that is how I have greatly dwindled my singles collection. It wasn't through like good use and like, you know, everything like that. It's just the cats. The cats, they wanted to, you know, they wanted to play with makeup. So, but that is it. That is the last category that we are going to go over. And I know you might be sitting there thinking like, um, hello, lady, tell us your eyeshadow palettes. And I will, I will. This video will probably go up on the first Friday in January. And the eyeshadow palette collection video will come on the following Friday. I just like to film those separately because I love eyeshadow palettes and I want to make sure that I can like sit down and kind of give you like little mini speed reviews on all of my eyeshadow palettes. But yeah, stay tuned for that one. If you have made it to the end, I thank you so much for watching. Let me know what item you are like really gung-ho about finishing off this year or like what category of yours in your makeup inventory is like a little too much for you. And so you're gonna try really hard to keep it in check and get it under control this year. I always love talking, talking to y'all in the comments and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.